Download the All-Star app. Make your picks for UFC fights, challenge your friends, level up and win prizes. Link in description. Get it now. All right, Hunter. Um, let's just jump right into this fight coming up. It's fight week, a.k.a. 37. Lightweight title is on the line. What are your thoughts on uh, the opportunity to uh, compete for a title? Oh, man, it's a dream come true, especially, you know, me. You know, I didn't get that many amateur titles. I only got one. Um, so I've been looking to try to get an early title shot, you know, as a pro. Um, AKA reached out to me. I was uh, originally scheduled to, f- to fight um, Abdul Aziz Dat- Salayev for All Ends 155 title. And that was uh, May 29th. Um, contract negotiations fell through with that. And um, a day later, we got this one signed. So, man, I, I guess I'm, I'm blessed, you know, that it, it was so – it fell together so organically. You know, I really didn't have to go look for anything. The fight was settled a day after they knew I was on the card. So, I mean, it was, uh, it was an easy find. And uh, yeah. I'm very blessed. Yeah, man, um, that's, that's interesting because if you look at on Tapology, it says that you withdrew from the fight, which is kind of it's, – it's, it's actually false, right? Right. Uh, I didn't withdraw from the fight because the fight was never signed. That's you what know? I'm saying. Uh, I, feel like, <laughs> I feel like in order to withdraw, you kind of need to be signed. But, hey, you know what? I knew that uh, I was making a lot of people upset with that decision. Mm. You know, it was definitely a decision that was thought about. And um, we sat there and we contemplated on it. But we just felt like, you know, for the amount of eyes that I'm putting on these fights that I'm having and – really my talent and the way that I cleared the amateur division in Louisiana that I feel, I feel like I should have got paid a little more to fight the scary guy over there, you know, 24 and O amateur record, um, four and O pro. So I just felt like they were kind of low balling us on, and, and, and we negotiated a little bit with them, you know, it, it, we just ended up not being able to agree on the same thing, you know? So, uh, but I knew I was going to catch flag for that one, man. I knew. Yeah. I did not know that Tapology said that. I'm going to have to go check that out. Yeah, you got to change that, man. If that's not the fact. I got to um, figure it out. Yeah, and they got to <laughs> figure it out. Because, uh, yeah, man, like, uh, I'm happy to hear that, you know, you guys are negotiating and, and trying to get the best deals at, you know, even on the regional scene, you know what I mean? Because a lot of the fighters, right. they don't. They just, like, take whatever they can. And it doesn't help the fighters, to be honest, at the end of the day. Yeah, right. Um, it's a shame, man. You know, this – it's already a sport, you know, I get into it, you know, I played football, um, at a high level in in high school and went to college to play, just, just hurt myself. But I, um, this sport I knew was, you know, it was lower on the professional side of, you know, pay as far as other big sports go, but I'm trying to, man, I'm trying to manage myself, uh, uniquely. Right. So I'm trying to like put myself in a different category and I'm trying to uh, really get my worth out of it all so uh kind of just going on my own scale right now you got him man you got him man you got to push for yourself right. man because if you ain't gonna push for yourself nobody will right that's right that's right all right man that's let's right. uh jump into your pro career man it hasn't been very long you know you debuted what a year ago <laughs> you know yes I mean? sir like... last may <laughs> yeah, it's last crazy. may man it, it's things happen fast man but you know when i decided to make the move to go pro last january I knew that it was going to be a full-time commitment, you know, no, no more part-time shift work jobs or anything like that. Just full commitment. You know, I'm super blessed and lucky enough to have a wife that has an amazing career, you know, going for herself. So, and I'm super blessed that she's able to support me through all this, you know, like she wants to support me. She wants to be there. She wants to help me out, you know, cause she understands the long-term goal, you know what I mean? And, um, so yeah, it's big. Uh, my, so once I, you know, made that, that decision to go pro, I knew I was going to have to be active. You know, it's full-time job now. Um, I like to fight every three to four months. Uh, and, and realistically I felt, I feel like I've been inactive these past six or so months. So I'm ready to, after this fight, get back in the gym and keep working and getting ready for the next one, maybe defend this title. Yeah. You know, like you said, you know, you, you were active when you first got on the scene, you know what I mean? Fight after fight after fight. And some of these fights, man, they didn't last right. very long. And you know, I know you go through hell to to make fights and, you know, you're never 100%. But also at the same time, you want to show your skill set. But 32 seconds, man, you don't really get to show much, right? Man, and that's also not good for me too, you know. You know, yeah. ring time is big, you know. Like being able to feel that experience and go through the rounds, you know. 
Um, I've been lucky enough to have a couple of them where I've had to battle and dig deep and everything like, like that. But those those fast knockouts, man, it's weird. It's a bittersweet feeling. Of course, I'm happy I get the fast knockout. I, I, I get a highlight reel, you know, KO. But at the same time, I just went through a grueling camp where I'm coming in, you know, injured a little bit. Shit, I want to get in there and throw some hands, bro. I want to take some damage. I want to feel like I just was in a fight, you know. So this one coming up, man, I'm a... Uh, I'm preparing for a fight, but I'm so prepared right now that I'm preparing for it not to be a fight. You know what I mean? Preparing for the same yeah. result. Um, Elliot, man, what do you think of him? You know what I mean? Like the skill set. Oh, man, that. he's he's great, man. He's a cool dude, too. Um, mm -hmm. We're actually, our hometowns are only an hour apart. So we've met on multiple regional shows. Um, cool little story, man. He was number, I think one, I think he was ranked number one as an amateur in the state when I debuted as an amateur. So he's been in the game longer than me, you know. It's cool because I remember talking to him as a one-fight amateur, you know, just picking his his brain and everything. Always been a real cool guy. When we when we see each other, we have conversation. It's not just the, hey, man, how you doing? You know, we sit there, we conversate. Um, so he challenged me. With that being said, I don't think his skill set matches up too well with mine. Um, I got to be confident. I feel really good right now. It's the best camp I've ever had times 10. Um I'm finally going into a fight where it seems like no little nagging injuries, you know. At least they're not nagging me right now. They're always there. Yeah. But um, yeah, man, Elliot, he's a worthy opponent. He's a he's a great test for me in my first title fight. And you know, preparing for the five rounder, what what have what have you done to adjust to that, or you know, you just ex add extra rounds? Like, what have you done? So every single time I've touched any type of live sparring, grappling, or anything like that, I've put five rounds on the clock. I got to get used to that feeling of starting around five times and ending it five times. You know, I got to get a cadence going. Um, and also, like, five five-minute rounds is long in sparring. feels a lot longer in sparring than it does in a, in a real fight. But I can accumulate, like, get comfortable, um, get a rhythm going. And, man, I think it only helps my game. You know, it's crazy to say that because of all my fights being, being fast. You know, but once I'm in a rhythm, I'm a whole new fighter and not really many people have seen me get into that rhythm yet. And I'm that's what I'm most excited about for this opportunity. I feel like Elliot's super durable. Um, he's really athletic and he's tough. And I think that he's going to allow me to work. You know, uh, I think he's going to he's not going to go down without a fight. Yeah. And also may possibly allow you to kind of uh, see how you can improvise in fights as well. You know, I mean, you never know what he's going to bring. Right. right? Right. And um, to answer your question about like differently, I have been uh, what I've done differently. I have been uh, I used to run for distance, you know, so many miles a week going into camp. This camp, me and my coach have focused on just pacing a really fast five, 25 minute run. So I put 25 minutes on the clock and I run and I try to pace faster miles, you know, and, and I've I've grown. I'm running my fastest mile right now. I, um, I ran what a three yesterday. And I averaged uh, six ten six minutes ten uh, second pace. That's phenomenal for me. You know what I mean. So um, I'm in the best shape of my life. You know, ahead of this fight, and I have to be. It's my first time going 25 minutes for sure. And you know what? What's the team surrounding you? You know, your coaches, your training partners, the ones that are getting you to the dance. Man, I have eight teammates on the card. Seven, <laughs> eight of us on the card. So seven. So we've been in camp together, man. So it's been high intensity. You know, uh, beating the crap out of each other because we're all in that mode, you know. And when we're all in this in that same mode, it makes makes stuff a little dangerous. Um, our coach is, is is locked in. You know, he's got everybody's game plan on the back of his hand. You know, it's a T to a T. Um, he's gonna be out there. I think there's 11 fights on the court, and eight of them are us. So he's gonna be out by the ring the entire night. Yeah. It's a uh, it's a big night. It's a really big night for Lake Charles, Louisiana. Yeah, definitely, man. Eight fighters on the card, and you're the main event for a title. It doesn't, you know, it's like the cherry on top. Man, it's it's almost like I'm trying not to like break it down that much until mm. after the fight. I'm trying not to be, you know, I, I've I've been losing sleep over this fight for weeks and weeks now. You know, mm. usually it, it's only on fight week, but I've been losing sleep. Just every time my mind is clear and I'm laying down, I'm thinking about ways I can, you know, I can hurt him, I can get in on him, you know, I can stuff takedowns, turn him into stuff. So um, my mind's been strictly on using my head in that fight and, uh, and, and writing down what I got to write down that I have 
that I would have to remember, you know, so that way I can make it muscle memory and I can make it. But yeah, I'm trying not to think of the magnitude of, of it because it scares me a little bit. You know, when mm -hmm. I start thinking, man, eight of my homies, you know, or seven of my homies, five of them have been fighting longer than me. Mm -hmm. um, all monsters. I mean, we have some of the best talent here in Louisiana. Um, so yeah, man, it, it's, it's a weird dynamic. It's definitely a weird dynamic. Yeah, it is. It's weird, but then it's like beneficial. Right. You know what I mean? Right. Massive oh, no, it reason. definitely is. It, it was super motivating all camp. You know, eight of us, like I said, eight of us in camp. <laughs> you can't, no one's slacking because mm -hmm. uh, we'll let you know. But it, luckily for us, we don't have that. We don't have no one on this team that, that chooses to slack, you know. Wow. Like, I feel like everybody on this team wants to get better personally. And that's the key to a good team, really. Mm -hmm. Just everybody wanting to get better themselves. And we have eight men who have been, mm -hmm. sorry, there's a flyer on me. We have eight yeah. men who have been, you know, dominating camp right now. And fly. Yeah, man, flies, they, they're persistent, man. Persistent. Yeah, especially in Louisiana, <laughs> man. Especially in Louisiana when we got a storm on the way. Yeah, they're getting ready. Uh, what You know, fight week. You have rituals? You have, like, a process that you take? Oh, man, lots of video games, man, to be honest with you. Okay. Like, I feel like I got to be transparent. I play video games, and this is, like, I have an excuse to sit down and play my video. You know, like... You know, because I'm not hitting those two or three a days like I've been doing in camp. It's usually just one time a hard sweat for an hour, hour and a half on fight week. Uh, just getting that heart rate going. So I have a lot of downtime, you know. Um, I, I mean, as far as fight week goes, I always plan a deep tissue massage on Wednesday. Um, my haircut and deep tissue massage on Wednesday. So get me feeling right. I hit cryotherapy every day. Um, and an ice bath. So that's just the recovery things I'm doing. But as far as just like, my way of life on fight week, man, it's very easy. It's very simple. It's not a lot of eating. It's a lot of video games. So you're just in the room playing video games. If you need to do something, you you leave, come back to the room, well, video games. <clears throat> bro, so I have a, a little girl. Mm -hmm. I say I play, you know, uh, she she keeps me honest because my wife, she, she's a work, she's a uh, home health nurse. So she's traveling to the first half of the day. So it's just me and my little girl here. Um, she makes fight week. You know, she takes my mind off of the barbaric part of the sport you know like that she kind of grounds me so gets my mind i don't have anxiety you know it just get, like i said it just yeah. gets my mind off of everything yeah. but yeah so i think that's probably my getaway from everything that yeah. video games is hurting my video games but yeah, and, you know, yeah. go ahead I'm and sorry. father's father's day man it was just like what yesterday couldn't eat nothing yeah man yeah but Good still, you get to, like, spend the time and get your mind off things, you know what I mean? Stuff like that, right? Right, right. Yeah, man. It, uh, we went, we enjoyed, you know, a good day by the pool, you know. Um, me and my family, we went over to my dad's house. But, yeah, it, it's good to decompress. It's one of those things that's, like, really, yesterday was the last day of, of hard training. Um, I woke up. I ran those three miles. Um, we hit mitts, and then, you know, it was a kind of a relaxing day. So it was a good way to decompress on my last day of hard camp yeah and almost perfect timing right heading into the into fight week perfect and then the crazy thing is my daughter's birthday is the following weekend after okay. this fight so i'm sandwiched between father's day and her birthday so i'm gonna have to you know get on the ball planning that right after this fight's over i'm sure yeah. my wife is gonna be wanting to do buy everything for that yeah. well it'll be a nice little gift right to bring a shiny belt you know, every, all kids oh, love 100%. shiny things. <laughs> you know, I tell you what, Lake Charles, Louisiana, man, they're going to be seeing me walk around with the belt for a little bit after I win it. I'm definitely going to be flaunting it, going grocery shopping in it. You know, yeah. I'm definitely going to be going the whole nine yards. I'm, I'm going to seem like a, a, a dork, but uh, I got to do it, bro. I, I, yeah. get, I give me some gold. I got to show it off. You know, I can't just put it in the closet. Yeah, exactly, man. You got to do it. June 22nd, man, a.k.a. 37 main event, lightweight title. Hunter, thank you so much, man, for the time and uh, all good vibes. Absolutely. And hopefully we'll see you in the, you know, in the big leagues real soon. It seems like you're on your way. Awesome, man. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Um, I really appreciate you reaching out to the management. Um, they let me know, and I was really happy. I was really excited to get on here with you. So I appreciate it, man. Uh, talk soon, man. Talk soon. <laughs>